Dock workers at the Port of Montreal are off the job. They were locked out after rejecting their employer's final offer. Talks between the two sides are now at an impasse. The CBC's Vanessa Lee has the latest from the Port of Montreal. The Maritime Employers Association tabled what it called its final comprehensive offer on Thursday and locked out nearly 1,200 workers after they rejected it. The union says key sticking points like work schedules have not been addressed, adding the two sides have not been at the bargaining table since the end of September. They say they are eager to return to negotiate a deal. The CEO of the Port of Montreal is warning of dire economic consequences if the impasse isn't resolved soon. One day at the Port of Montreal, it's 400 million of, mer of merchandise that goes in and out or flow through the Port of Montreal. That 400 million of merchandise translates in $268 million in economic activity. So if you extrapolate for a two weeks conflict, you're looking at six billion in terms of merchandise that are not transiting in the Port of Montreal and four billion of economic activities that do not take place. And then if you carry on with the conflict, these numbers just keeps expanding. The Employers Association is calling on Ottawa to intervene to end the dispute. Federal Labour Minister Stephen McKinnon says both sides need to understand the urgency of the situation and do what is needed to reach an agreement, adding Canadians are counting on them. Vanessa Lee, CBC News, Montreal.